from Lions Clubs International. This is LQ, Lions Quarterly. We begin with Lions making a global impact. Lions have an important role in solving global environmental issues because they have a network of clubs everywhere in the world. We usually look towards business or towards government that they are going to solve the problems. But ultimately for environmental problems, it is you and I and the communities we live in. And I think that's where the special role of community leaders, such as Lions, really comes in. Recently, Adil Najim, an environmental leader who shared the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize, addressed Lions at the United Nations in New York, challenging them to work together to improve the environment. Environmental problems vary community by community. You have to start by saying, what is the challenge in my community? And build up from that. Lions are already tackling environmental problems in their communities. Lions has been actively cooperating with the forestry societies around the country, planting trees in order to heal the land. The wind has blown open the land, and so we're spreading fertilizer and seed and trying to close these wounds. Trees always help the environment. And more oxygen in the air, taking the carbon out. Lions are going green with recycling projects. We collect PET bottles in order to prevent pollution of the environment and nature. If we don't recycle the bottles, it takes four years to decompose. So it's a good opportunity for us to recycle and reuse it again. If the paper is recycled, that means that we don't cut down as many trees. It's important to the planet because of the growing population and we're just running out of forests and uh, natural products. But improving the environment is more than just going green. Blue is the new green. There is a finite amount of water on the planet. If you and I start looking at cleaner water, less use of water, then it will add up at a planetary scale. Lions all over the globe are developing projects ranging from boreholes to rain barrels, each one tailored to their local community's needs. Water is life. When you provide water to where there is no water, you feel very happy because we are serving those in need. This is really for us a pride because a borehole has changed the life of a village. The rain barrel is going to collect runoff water off of your roof, which is going to prevent it from going to the streams and into the bay with pollutants. I'm saving every time I use it and it fills up 55 gallons that I'm not paying for. This is not a one club, one city, one person project. This takes everybody. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We are citizens of a humanity. This is not about simply managing the world that you and I will live in. This is about what is the world we are going to leave behind for our kids. When you think of New Orleans, you think of the music first. It's a city overflowing with talented musicians, but many struggle to make ends meet. Many musicians, it really comes down to whether you can buy groceries or pay health insurance. Seeing the need in their community. Accept membership. Accept, Accept membership. membership. Lions chartered the first new club in New Orleans in 35 years, the Uptown Lions Club. Their mission, to help provide health care for musicians, many of whom are now members. It was fun with the recruiting and everybody loved our mission statement. So we're a little unique. We don't stay in the box. People will say that you can't do this and you can't do that. There's no such thing. The Lions provide ongoing support for the privately funded Musicians Clinic, run by Louisiana State University. The clinic offers free or reduced health care services to more than 2,000 musicians. I've had glaucoma screening. I've had my inner ear cleaned out once when I thought I was losing my hearing. And the best thing about it is that it didn't hurt me financially. What have you had to eat today? The Uptown Lions have also joined forces with health organizations and other Lions clubs to extend their reach by holding free health screenings throughout the city. Their diet and everything is not the best. 
diabetes, high blood pressure. These are things that we're trying to educate musicians that there is a problem and to address it before it becomes life-threatening. These traveling hospitals are wonderful and you can just go in for free and you can tell where you're at health-wise. That's a great thing. Singer Felice Guimont has retinopathy, but she has retained her vision thanks to assistance from the Musicians Clinic and Lions. When I had lost insurance and my vision was deteriorating, they made sure that I got the care that prevented me from going blind. I'm able to see very well when the, all the tests show that I'm supposed to be blind. That generosity opened Felice's eyes to Lions, and she became a member of the Uptown Lions, a club whose members combine their love of food bon appetit. and music at this festival to raise money for their cause. This helps not only to take care of them, but it also takes care of our city because our musicians are the lifeblood of New Orleans. If you take away our music, we have nothing. And the only way we can do it is to have some, some help and donations. So we all work very hard with the clinic so that we can keep the music alive for the rest of the world to come here and enjoy. Seven-year-old Pradeep lives with his family in a remote Indian village near the Bangladesh border. A normally active little boy, Pradeep began showing signs of vision loss, which his father, BJ, quickly realized. I noticed that during the nighttime, my son couldn't see properly. He used to stumble on things. A laborer in a nearby tea garden, BJ was very concerned. I thought that my son could not study and that he wouldn't get a job. At a Lions Eye Screening Camp, volunteers referred Pradeep to Siliguri Greater Lions Eye Hospital, where doctors diagnosed him with pediatric cataract, which can lead to blindness. A global problem, pediatric cataract is most prevalent in Asia, where families live in rural communities. They come from a very poor area, and because of that, they're not getting proper medication or proper treatment. An estimated 1.4 million children in the world are blind, but pediatric cataract can be prevented or treated. So Lions Club's International Foundation and Bausch & Lohm partnered to form the Pediatric Cataract Initiative. The difficulty with pediatric cataract is early detection and early intervention, followed by appropriate follow-up care. Unless we have these three steps, just doing surgery in a pediatric cataract would not mean anything. The Pediatric Cataract Initiative awarded a $150,000 U.S. dollar grant to the Siliguri Lions Eye Hospital to help children like Pradeep. Capacity building grant helps us to strengthen the human resource and also the infrastructure of this hospital. The grant enabled the hospital to provide public education and screenings to 150,000 children, purchase state-of-the-art equipment, and provide its staff with the advanced training to diagnose and treat pediatric cataracts. I have uh, learned a few techniques and a few modern uh, things to improve the pediatric cataract surgery. We are doing about 15 to 20 cataract surgeries per month and we are identifying around 50-60 cases who need interventions like surgical or non-surgical like medical treatment. Lions work with the hospital to provide transportation, counseling, comprehensive eye exams, surgeries and follow-up care. Because of the grant, the hospital is able to treat more young patients like Pradeep. We have now a second team ready for pediatric eye care services. We have a better optical dispensing facility, which is helping us to provide good quality spectacles to our patients. Newborn babies are getting their eye checked, and that's a great help to the families. One of the most rewarding things you can do is to help a child develop normal vision and know that they can go forward and learn all the things they're going to learn. Pradeep's surgery was a complete success. Today, he sees clearly and enjoys reading his favorite books. Now he can look toward a full and productive life. Thomas Ray, or T. Ray as his friends call him, has been blind since birth. Never fond of relying on others, he always hoped to be independent one day. 
I never thought I'd be able to cook my own meals, wash my own clothes, work on my money management skills, pay my rent. But now T. Ray is living on his own, has a job, and takes the bus to get around. Thanks to the Lions of Florida Conklin Center for the Blind, which receives funding from Lions Club's International Foundation. We're a residential intensive training center for people who are blind and have an additional disability. This is really designed to provide an alternative to the need for a lifetime of depending on other people. Employing students at the center is key because they learn new skills and build confidence. I want to be independent. It's a really nice program here because you learn so much. They really do get you ready for your future. It gives them a sense of accomplishment when you can go to them. Hey, good job. I measure the tube and count how many I do. And I get paid for the work. I'm proud of what I have learned here. Independent living skills are also emphasized. Evadne is adjusting to her decreasing vision and her diminished hearing. It was pretty scary for me because I didn't know how I would be able to cope. This morning I was typing away on the braille machine. I'm working, I'm doing classes, and every day cleaning this apartment by myself. These success stories would not be possible without support from Lions of Florida and LCIF. Every time we've expanded, LCIF has been part of that effort and we're just real grateful. The Conference Center do so much for the blind and we're with them 100%. T. Ray still visits his friends at Conklin and the staff is always available to help graduates acting as a support system, ensuring their success. We really are here to help people with significant disabilities achieve their dreams. They dream about uh, being able to achieve independence. They dream about doing something meaningful that they can feel proud of every day. It's just a feeling that you really can't explain because knowing that you have your own place and your own world and your own friends, your own life, that's what makes it. I have achieved so much from the Conklin Center. I'm ready to deal with the world. I'm ready to be independent. I am proud of myself. I'm ready to step out. We're here to show you uh, the message in the bottle. Lions from Dublin and neighboring county Meath, Ireland are telling their neighbors about a free life-saving program. Message in the Bottle provides vital information to the emergency services in the event they are called to a home. Could we to fit in all of this? Yeah. People fill out a form with their personal and medical information, including pictures of themselves and phone numbers for their family. Then they put the form in a small bottle inside of their refrigerator. They place stickers on their refrigerator, front and back doors, to let emergency personnel know they're participating in the program. It's a great idea because you know that everything is written down there. Anybody of any age should have a message in a bottle. My name is Mark, Mark Hughes. How are you, I'm Mark? I'm from Lions Club. This is Jenny. In the last five years, 75 Lions Clubs have distributed 90,000 bottles throughout Ireland. We saw a need for the message in a bottle in our local area as a way of helping people that are living on their own and it gives them peace of mind. Both Nolene Dunn and her husband have their own bottle. It's great security for anybody to have. If an emergency is called, two people might be on a floor or one so disturbed that they wouldn't know what was wrong with the other. And when the label is on the fridge, everything is there for the emergency services to find. Emergency personnel say this type of information is essential for treating patients especially during that first critical hour. The Message in a Bottle program gives us information straight away as to what we're dealing with and to deal with it as quickly as possible. Allowing them to save time and potentially lives learned a lot from you. with help from Lions. If you would like to suggest your Lions project for LQ, send your story to lq at lionsclubs.org. LQ is available on the Lions Club's international website, YouTube, iTunes and DVD. Lions make a difference every day, everywhere. Thanks for watching LQ Lions Quarterly.